everyone, my name is Aga Tompkins. Welcome to my channel. If you wanna see how I got Chloe here, my girl, from this shade to this with the Bust Your Brass mask, if you wanna see what happens, stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. Check it out. So I'm gonna start by doing like a tiny test strand just because, I'm gonna be honest, that's what you should do because you don't want to just put this on your hair and if you have different porosity in your hair it can take different so i think it's really important to do a test strand also i don't know if this hair is really all human hair and i don't know if it'll take evenly so i'm gonna do a little test strand kind of like in the middle here in an inconspicuous spot that if it doesn't look too good we're gonna stop so I'm using my hotel room sink. I have like a little separate room here with a kitchen and whatever. I'm just gonna take this little piece. Sorry, actually, I'm gonna take one not in the center, more in here. I'm literally gonna plop this on right here and I'm just gonna apply this. And we shall see what happens. I'm gonna use a little water to wet it and kind of work it around because you're actually supposed to do it on wet hair. As you can tell, it's already like really starting to tone it, so that's cool. Now keep in mind, this mask is the most intense thing you can do, so the shampoo and conditioner is not as intense as this mask. Cool, so, so I'm gonna leave this baby on for five minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and see how it looks. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back. Here's what this is looking like. I'm gonna rinse it right now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, the water's way too hot. It's steaming. Whoopsie. Okay, so as you guys can see, all that kind of washed out, that part that was looking kind of blue purple. It looks like it toned it a little bit, so I at least feel like I'm safe to throw it on over the whole half. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna wet this down. There's like the little ponytail there. Sorry, Chloe, this is your life now. Now that I know I'm safe, I think I'm gonna leave it on a little bit longer as well. I'm gonna wring out any water, kind of like you would do if you were doing this at home and I hope I have enough of this toner. <laughs> I have two of these. All right. I wish I could cut this. Oh, I have something. I'll be right back. I literally have um cuticle cutters. I have cuticle cutters. That's what I'm going to use. Listen, you got to do what you got to do. I'm like Magaiva over here. And obviously these are like sample ones. The real deal comes in like a big thing. All right, I'm gonna put my camera back a little so you guys can actually see me kind of. Still like bent over this dang counter because I'm real tall. I don't know if you guys know that about me. I'm a tall girl, I'm 5'8", it's all legs. So I'm legit just like schlopping this on. I have two of these, so I really hope that's enough. You're doing great, Chloe. You're doing great, kid. Okay, time to open package number two. I'm gonna put most of that in the bottom here. I think this will be enough. I know what this will be enough now. I mean, she does have a lot of hair, so I was a little bit worried, but now I feel all right. <laughs> and don't worry if you get it on your hands, it washes off, it's totally easy breezy to get off. I'm getting all the rest of it out of this one too. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can on there. So maybe her hair is actual human hair after all. I wasn't sure because a lot of these mannequin heads, they say they're human and then it turns out later they're not and you're just like what the heck you know you pay all this money for them and they suck 
I want to make sure I get at her root as much as possible so I don't have weird spots. But at the same time, I don't want to dye the other side because I'm clearly not using a brush or any kind of... Uh, I didn't bring any of my other tools and stuff, which... That was smart. Real smart. I should have brought a bowl and a brush. But I guess at home, this is what you'd be doing. You wouldn't be using a bowl and a brush, so... I'm gonna rinse off her face a little bit. Chloe, well, you're doing so good. At this point, we've been through so many adventures. Whenever you guys see my bag, if you follow me on like Instagram and stuff, um, if you see my bag, she's in there. She's just chilling in my bag. Poor girl. I actually do have this wide tooth comb. I'm gonna kind of try and work it through her hair a little bit as best as I can. Alrighty. I'll clip her up. Cute. I'll clean up a little bit. And then I'll see you guys soon. I'll we'll rinse her out and blow dry her and see how it goes. Alright, I'm back. Let's rinse this baby out. I'm just gonna wash all her hair because yeah, just easier. Just washing her in the sink. I can tell it definitely looks better. On the side with the mask, so I'm excited to dry her. I can't really tell, and it's wet still, so once I dry it, it'll be a big difference. I also kind of want to show you guys in the daylight. Maybe I'll have to do that tomorrow. All right, Chloe. Good morning, I'm back, and I left her overnight so she can mostly air dry just because I don't got time for all that. So I'm gonna blow her out right now with the Amika blowout brush. So I don't know if you all can see, but this is definitely cooler and this is definitely warmer. This looks so much better than this yellow orangey side, I would say. Although this hair isn't the best mannequin hair, you can definitely tell the difference. It's still a little damp, so I'm gonna keep blow drying it and I'll be right back. All right, so I finished blow drying her. You guys ready for the reveal? You can see this, some of the hair flew on this side when I did the parting, it wasn't perfect. But you guys can kind of see the difference. This is definitely less warm and this is all the way warm. You can especially tell kind of in the, by the sideburns and stuff like that. So next time I shampoo her, it'll brighten up a lot because I just did the mask and left it and it kind of has to knock out that brass and it seems a little darker, but it'll brighten up a little bit back to like that level and kind of keep it toned on the ashier side. But overall, if I was a blonde, I definitely would rather be this version of blonde than that version of blonde for sure, you know? That's pretty and cool. And she's not a platinum blonde anyway, so you know, you can imagine what it would do if you were platinum and yellow. But yeah, her hair is definitely darker in general. So hopefully this helps you all see kind of what it can do, like, I'm happy with the results. Let's go to the daylight. Let's see if the daylight makes a difference. I feel like this is a good spot. Yeah, so natural lighting. Amiga's Buster Brass line actually has ultraviolet instead of like purple. If you overused it, instead of looking lavender, it would look kind of on the bright silver side, if that makes any sense, which you can kind of see that it's silverier than this side. So, so that is what the results most people go for, so yeah. Say bye, Chloe. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And bye.